Hi, this is Matthew Mead, and this is a quick video to show how you can integrate the Axis A8207 to provide both visitor management via the intercom and staff management via the Axis Control Reader. Using the combined device simplifies installation and reduces installed equipment on the entrance. So let's take a closer look how we can integrate this equipment. The first step is to add the intercom via the add device option in the normal manner. When the intercom is added, it automatically creates action rules for recording the call and opening the door. By default, the open door action button will open the IO on the actual intercom, as you can see here. Also, when the device is added, we automatically create the audio buttons. When the call button is pressed, the alert pops up and the operator is able to communicate with the visitor. They can also open the door. So in this example, we now need to add the intercom as the access control reader and also change that default operation of opening the IO connected to the intercom to grant access to an access control door which is connected to the Axis A1601. Let's take a look how we do that. So here I've added a door controller, the A1601, and now I have to add the door. So this is my store entrance and I label it so it's easy to find and I've added the door controller. So I need to add the door furniture. So we're going to add the reader which is an IP reader. And I can select the A8207 as the reader. I'm also going to add a Rex device and I'm going to monitor that door. Once we've added the door, we can then return to access management and uh, I can add that door to a, a group that I've created of staff. And there's three people already in that group, as you can see. So now I can use my access control card on that intercom and it was act as an access control reader. And I've opened the door and I can open and close that door. And you can see on the intercom as well, we get an indication red that the door is locked, green, the door is open. And here I've generated a door forced, which flashes and it also makes an audible alert. So the final step is to change the default behavior of the open door button. Here you can see once I've pressed the button, the LED is still red. So we need to change this to open the access control door and not the IO. So we have to find the open door rule and edit the action. So there's the open the IO and we remove this and we need to replace it with an access control action. So here we can select the door, which is our store's entrance, and we grant access for the action. I'm also going to enhance this and add the recording of a camera. And here you can see I've added the entrance camera. I've changed the pre and post buffer. And also I'm going to add an alarm, which will enable me to find this event quite easily and also it pops up to show that the operator has granted access. So we can see that in action in a second. So our visitor can now make the call. The operator can answer and open the door, which is connected to the A1601 and not the door station. You can also see the alarm pop up and I can also click on this notification and be taken to the recording that has been triggered on a different camera, which allows me to identify the visitor that requested access to the premises. As you can see, we have created a complete entry system, visitor management, staff management, all from one single unit. I hope you found that of interest. Thank you for watching.